You know we're getting serious about YouTube when we start bringing on goats like this. Yeah, it's a classic and it ain't even that old. It's the EP3 Type R. It's a facelift. It's got some sauce on it too. We had to get the EP3 Type R on. How are there humans in this world that aren't appreciating what Honda done with this? I gave my buddy Tosh a shout and I said, yo, your EP3's on smoke, right? We need to do a movie. Here's some stuff. Welcome to the channel. Big love. Yeah. For those of you who don't know, this is Tosh. How are we doing? <laughs> Did you want me to say anything else? <laughs> Tosh, this is Type R. This is a 2000 and Four. 2004 Type R. For those of you that don't know, Type R's came out in 2002? 2001? Yeah. They came out of the box from factory with 200 brake and they came out absolutely flipping savage. 2005, they had a facelift, um, and that had, I think, did you know Do you know how many revisions are between the 250 something revisions? Between the pre-facelift and a facelift. I bet you didn't know that. You learn something new every day. Every day is a school day. <laughs> and for those of you who say I don't give you a mass education on my channel, there you go. Cosmetics, we've not really cared about that much yeah. because we care more about performance, but I need a new front bumper, got a private plate on it, I've got a Mugen spoiler sat at home. I've wrapped the side, whatever you call these myself, uh, Amazon wrap. Um, Should have gone that, to Detail Kings, who said that? But what has happened to it is it's stage two paint corrected and ceramic coated by Detail Kings. And Mm, best of the damn game, shameless plug, but if you do need your car aesthetically looked after, maintained, brought up to spec, Detail Kings is your shout. Here's a plug for Detail Kings. Yo, it's time to give a huge shout out to our sponsors of this video. Detail Kings have made this possible. They power my channel, they look after all of my cars, and pretty much everyone's cars. Best in the game, tinting, wrapping, ceramic coating, PPF, chameleon tints, you name it, these guys are doing it. They do everything and anything in terms of maintaining your vehicle's aesthetics. Do me a favor, give Detail Kings a shout, follow them on social media, bits are down below, and, uh, yeah, I happen to own it, so help me, help myself, help you to help us. <laughs> Cheers, thanks. Let's get back to the video. Anywho, we digress. So, cosmetically, you, you're not really interested too much. Will happen now. Cosmetics will happen now. Performance is key first. Let's get at this. First, yo, yo, start. Start with this. Please start with this. So, no one likes to sit in the back of my car, so we made an adjustment. <laughs> So that's a, what, what, what come, talk, talk to me about this. This is an SW Motorsport, SW Motorsport um, X-Brace. Um, I went for the W option just because it looks better. Went with red just to match the Type R kind of vibe. Um, as you can see, it's on yellow speed coilovers. Um, all the tracking and the fast road setup has been done by Geo by Luke. Honestly, guys, amazing. Um, that's the back, really. Right. If anyone wants to come and sway this for me, please do. <laughs> Yeah, that doesn't look so stock anymore. Talk to us. First mod was the Tegua intake airbox. Um, then we've got the Skunk 2 Ultra Ultra Street inlet manifold. It's got the 421 Jap Speed manifold and straight through it's got the Tegua X Militech 3 inch exhaust. The only other mod you could probably do to this is get the solid fab 421 and the solid fab 3 inch exhaust, but that sets you back by like £1,500 we talk numbers? you okay. can't track it. And you can't track it? You can't take oh, it's too loud. very loud to track. Alright, so talk to me numbers. <laughs> this Tegua intake. That's like 350 That's about a grand. Jap Speed 4 to one is about 150 120 3 inch exhaust is about 700 Yellow Speed coilovers, they're about 12 1300 
It's got up upgraded engine mount and it's polybushed all around as well. Tosh is on smoke. The EP3 is on smoke. Now let's see Wagwan. First things first, let's hear the damn thing. Big Tosh in his EP3 doing bits. What the f wow 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 the first two were launch control yeah second one was breakdown bypass four gear fourth gear launch control all the way to 9k well 8600 yeah that made no sense to me but this <laughs> is on what is you use it again K Pro K Pro Oh yeah, you want the price for that as well. K Pro ECU cost you about 700, 800? Yeah, 6, 700, something around. Oh my god, that's a lot of smoke. I hope he's not damaged the car. Yo, this thing is on smoke! You're off, sir. I can open it. <laughs> uh, you got an open diff? Yeah. That's your next thing you need to do. LSD. You need an LSD. Because you got one wheel peel for days. You want to go again? There's something about bouncing off the limiter of a Honda that never gets old. That's the country's fastest NA Civic Type R. Just know I'm this dedicated that this is actually a road we bought just for YouTube. I need to get in the car and experience this. So for me, the EP3 Type R is the quintessential uh, modern classic Japanese car. Yep, 100%. This is, this is, this is the one. In my opinion, when these were out back in 2005, when the facelift came out, I got my first Type R in 2006. Um, I then went on to buy seven of these. Four of them ended up in a bush, one of them in a wall, uh, and the other ones are probably in scrapyards because I'll probably knack the engines on them. But I'm a JDM guy. No one on my channel probably knows this, but I'm a thorough, thoroughbred JDM guy. To be fair, people, Advanced car care, they even said to me, Yeah, you're F's boy, how come you got a Type R? <laughs> right, no one knows that my blood runs real red for the for the colours of the Type R badge. is what I was championing these cars into bushes, walls, pedestrians, sidewalks, lampposts, everything. But you know what? I never tinkered with mine. You know how people say, yeah, the generation now, the kids, they don't get to like go outside and play, they all stop yeah. the computer games. Same thing, people my generation, they don't understand what these are about. Yeah, you know what? This We have this conversation off camera. So by the way, Tosh is actually a very good friend of mine. So Tosh and I were having a chat off camera and, it, and we were talking about what you just, just mentioned that in today's world no one gets experience analog cars um, and that's a shame because this is the last of some of the analogs here I know the FN2 came after it also a great car I think it's hated on unnecessarily personally <coughs> it's a bit one. no 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 they made a heavier car perform identical to this you've got to appreciate that a heavier car with more luxury slightly more refined and it still handles as well. If you get me an EP3 and you K tune pro, you K pro the ECU, you tune it same way as this. You lightweight it a little bit. I'm you guaranteeing an FN2. An FN2, sorry, yeah. yeah. So get me an FN2. Put the same mods on it as you have this. Lightweight it. Personally, I reckon you prefer the FN2. The interior is nicer. It's a nicer place to be. They made a more well-refined car. The thing is, Japs are known for this. They put more money That's in right. the engine. 
than they do on the interior. I ain't playing games. I'm not playing. I'm not playing games. By Geo by Luke, yeah, and you're running what coilovers? Uh, yellow speed coilovers, uh, the road ones. Wow, this holds that holds little skip there, but that held really well at dump speeds, <laughs> at <laughs> national speed limit speeds, and the whole vibe. Yo, this is a rocket for country roads. Bomber Okay, so remain by race cars, back the your launch control. So all I'm gonna do is put it in first handbrake up and just pop. And I'll just sit there and walk it around. And the only way two ways to cancel that is going above six miles per hour yeah. or brake down. So if you ever get stopped by feds, put the foot on the brake and then rev it all the way. Uh, cool. Uh, so my name's F and I'm about to launch control this uh, EP3 Type R. Oh. 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 I lost the nerve to carry on booting it. Uh, big corner, big corner. That pigeon nearly got here as well. It's me who I've raced in this. Yeah. The thing is, some random M4 leaving Santa on DMO's event. Yeah. Couldn't. I was behind him. He could not leave me. Could not leave me. He was. I mean, I don't know how good of a driver he was, but he couldn't leave me. But um, straight line, Ford Focus RS Stage 1 Monotune, it only pulled on me at 110, and that was before I had my key throw in. This is the thing. And then uh, any uh, ST Stage 1, Stage 2 gets left. There's one Stage 3 that's turboed, that passed me at about 120. Uh, but we raced on 40 and I dropped him, but his turbo spools in about 1 well, so he keeps spooling right. See, so the thing is for me, right, this isn't even a straight line car. That's that's my point. I'm not so a, an ST on those roads. Yeah. I, I don't even think it's, let alone living with me, I don't even think it would come like, come, it doesn't arrive. It doesn't arrive. <laughs> this, this, this is outside of M, M car territory in terms of B roads. Uh, I'll be honest with you, a 1M will chase you down on those things. A 1M is probably one of the most well balanced cars you're ever going to step into. Uh, M2 Comp, I've actually never been in one. I def desperately need to get in one. But something like an M4 and M5, bro, it's a muscle car and it's a motorway car and it's a very, very powerful car. That's not supposed to do what this just done. But it is a savage to say that this car can hit those roads at those speeds. What it's tires are you running? Uh, Pilot Sport 4s on the front, Primacy 4s on the back. Yeah, Pilot Sport 4s for the win. You probably need a new Pilot Sport 4 <laughs> on the left. <laughs> back on to a subject I touched on upon my previous videos and that's mental health so I'm really really proud and happy to announce that we're going live I've started an Instagram page called noise nation I've chosen noise nation because this is to help with the noise in your mind and we're gonna do it with the noise of the cars um, Noise Nation, link is down below. I'm gonna apply and plaster it everywhere I possibly can. Noise Nation is now here and fully running. I will promise you a response to whatever you send us within 12 hours. That's a lot, I know, but 
I am going to put it on me. Like you're contract, you're contacting me right now. It's a one man band. It is what it is. But I am now positioning myself here under the alias of Noise Nation to be able to assist and aid in a conversation, in a day out, um, in any capacity I possibly can to help you go through whatever it is you're going through to stomach and digest whatever it is you're going through. So the headline of this and any following video will be Noise Nation is now presented to you in the wider world and audience to be a home to help you with your mental health. I'm really excited to present Noise Nation. Um, Noise Nation is gonna be owned and run by me for the moment. So if you drop me a message on Noise Nation, I am there for you 24 hours a day. Whatever it is you need, we'll go for it together. I'm gonna take this opportunity to actually give you an insight into my life to try and help me be a little bit more accessible. I have twins, Alhamdulillah, by the grace of God. My son spent two years, two months and 13 days in hospital in intensive care. Um, he has a limited time to live, uh, as we all do. With it comes strength, comes weakness, comes everything else. But I do get it, okay? Your mental state of welfare is the only thing that is actually protecting you from being eaten by this world. So let's rally together like those have for me. Um, and let's just keep positive vibes. There's a way through everything, there really is. Uh, you wanna know about me? I'm an open book, I'll tell you about me. But I want you to know that I have sought help from others and others have helped me through this. Uh, uh, and Alhamdulillah, my family and my wife, my friends, they're all there day in, day out. So I'm now gonna do my utmost best to be able to provide that same support that I get and have gotten and continue to receive. And I want to pass it on to as many as you as I possibly can. Noise Nation is the motive. Noise Nation is the, is, is, is the brand. It's what we're going to be calling ourselves. Uh, Noise Nation will be prov providing events, sponsorships, merchandise, the whole shebang. And it is there for one reason only, and that is to provide a safe space for us to get together, talk about where we're at in life and just help one another. Life's too short, just smile. I'm a bit emotional from, you know, Alhamdulillah having to say this, my sister's behind the camera smiling. Um, God is great. Uh, life is short, make of it what you will, but let's get through it smiling. Thank you, subscribe, like, share, write a post a note on your cat, send the cat out. Like, share, and subscribe. Hmm? Make sure it doesn't die. Make sure the cat doesn't die. That's so morbid. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye.